Hey, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Dizo. Back again, another video. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a detailed look and uh, material review on the Harden Volume 1 Disruptor Colorway. You guys already seen the unboxing um, in the first part of the video. So let's get on with the details of the material. So the upper has a black, white, and gold colorway. Black and white lacing. It looks grayish, but it is black and white. Um, the main reason why I bought this shoe was because of the materials. Other people say it's cheap material, but to me, it doesn't matter. It's the materials I want, that's why I got it. That's also my advice to uh, sneaker heads who are just starting to uh, get shoes. Don't ever, I mean, value other people's opinion, but don't let it be the reason why you buy or don't buy the shoe. It's your money, do with it as you please. So, um, main reason why I got this for the background is because I uh, show you guys that I have already worn this. So, I know the materials uh, and what it brings to the table once you wear it. And I've already put this on shoe if you guys seen my uh, mall vlog video. And yes, I play around with the shoes that I fit in the mall and then ask them for a new pair that hasn't been worn yet. So, as you can see, this hasn't been worn, but I already. Uh, Played around with the uh, same size with it uh, on uh, on the mall. So uh, the upper is actually just like a spandex uh, material. As you can see, I could do this one right here without ruining the shoe. It's actually the same material as what holds the tongue together with the shoe and the inside of the shoe. Um, what else? This mesh part right here. This is uh, this is mesh, but it feels like it's a hardened. That's funny because this is a hardened, but it's like a hardened mesh right here. I think it has like a. Um, I think it's coated with fuse, if I'm not mistaken. But I know I know it's mesh. I know it's coated with something. Um, in the inside part where I'm pointing right now, there's actually a little bit of uh, cushion in there or padding. Not not as big a padding as the liner, but minimal padding right here in the inside part. But on the medial part right here, there's no padding, but it does provide a lot of breathability as you can see on the picture. And uh, well, that's one thing I really like about this shoe because of its uh, breathability. Um, what else? So we have a uh, fuse fuse right here in the high wear area midsole is a typical boost it's a full length boost as you can see all around translucent outsole and uh, other companies their translucent outsole sucks but adidas has them right so no problems there although this is also just uh, catered for james harden's movement um, i've walked with these around at work and try to do a little bit of lateral movement and uh, 
I can tell you right now, this attraction works, man. Um, what else? So, yeah, I, oh, one more thing, one more thing. Nobody ever mentioned it on any of the write-ups that I read or any of the videos that I saw, but these three stripes right here are actually translucent. I mean, uh, my bad, translucent. 3M, here we go. And then I was actually hoping that the, these would be a uh, glow in the dark, but that was just wishful thinking. I tried it. I tried to charge them up like all the other uh, glow in the dark shoes, but they didn't work. So, yeah, I'm going to be playing in these and I'm gonna be doing this for casual. But that's a detailed look at the Harden Volume 1 Disruptor Colorway. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe so that uh, you'll be notified every time I put in new videos and uh, off coming right up. Thanks, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys soon. Peace out.